So the message here is very clear that God calls us to be faithful where we currently are in our current season, even if it feels insignificant. Hi, you guys. Welcome back my channel. If you are new here, my name is Alexis Lee Trevino. I make content in regards to faith, fashion, vlogs, lifestyle, all that good stuff. And today I'm so excited for you to join me because I think this topic will really hit home for a lot of people. Maybe you know of someone that is going through this and so send it their way because hopefully this can be an encouragement to them and let's just get into it because I'm really excited about today's topic. I don't know about you, but sometimes I feel a little bit frustrated with God's timing. I honestly, sometimes I'm even questioning the process how he's moving, where he's at. He might feel a little absent at times. And if you feel that way or you've ever felt that way, like you are not alone. Today, I am going to be diving into 1 Samuel chapter 17. And if you guys are not familiar with David and Goliath, please go into 1 Samuel and read the story because there are so many tidbits in the book of 1 Samuel that can apply to your life. It's a really great story and it really does open your eyes. I'm going to share a verse with you, chapter 17, verse 37, if you want to open up your Bibles with me. The Lord who rescued me from the paw of the lion and the paw of the bear will rescue me from the hand of this Philistine. After you are done reading the story of David and Goliath, you will know that David, a scrawny young shepherd, defeats this big giant Goliath. I want to point out this significance that David did not conquer Goliath just on pure luck or just because God was with him. Although God was with him, David conquered Goliath because God has been preparing David all his life for this specific battle. He won because of his faithfulness in small moments. Did you know that David spent years as a shepherd tending to his father's flock? It might have seemed mundane, but that experience honed his skills in preparing to defeat Goliath. When David faced the bear and the lion, it wasn't just like a historic anecdote. It was, it was God preparing him and shaping him into the warrior that would stand against Goliath. So the message here is very clear that God calls us to be faithful where we currently are in our current season, even if it feels insignificant. For example, if you are working at a car dealership or you are working as an administrator and you aspire to be an engineer, you guys, please understand that God is still working on your behalf. And I say this because in the midst of our preparation, we rarely see how God uses it. But if you think about it, do you think David ever once knew that he was going to have to defeat a giant? Like like, did you ever think that he was going to be in front of a giant where David, you guys, like, just to give you a better picture, David, when he approached Goliath, Goliath for a second didn't even realize that David was in front of him. That's how small he was because that's how big Goliath was. And then when David approached Goliath, Goliath was like, Goliath was almost embarrassed. Why was David sent? Because it's almost like undermining his manhood just because he's a giant, and he's scrawny. So he's like, this is like, bring me someone that could actually put up a fight, not a scrawny little shepherd boy, right? And then if you go down to verse 47, it says, all those gathered here, we will know that it is not by a sword or spear that the Lord saves, for the battle is the Lord's and he will give all of you into our hands. Meaning the only armor you need is the Lord's. David didn't show up with uh, a metal cap, swords, everything like ready to fight this giant. He literally showed up with a bag of stones and the Lord's protection. When you think about it, these stories in the Bible just, it goes to show you how miraculous God works and how even if we cannot see it in the natural, even if it looks very, very unlikely, he is still able to do more. He's still able to get glory. He wouldn't put you in a position if he knew you can't handle it. Like he puts us in positions. He puts us near people. He puts us in certain circumstances so that either A, we could grow closer to him to better form you into his image and so that you can experience God and the goodness that he does in your life. You guys, I hope you just needed this reminder and I hope it just brought you some sense of encouragement. I feel like I needed it, but God is preparing you for a greater purpose. So don't lose sight of that and stop trying to rush the process because the more we rush it, the more likely we won't even be able to step into what God has called us to do because we're kind of like messing up his plans. I don't know about you, but that kind of scares me. Like I want to do everything I can to fulfill God's ultimate purpose for my life. So just remember that your current situation is a part of his greater purpose. You need to be humble. You need to be, you need to wait. You need to wait like David. 